हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल पोइकिलोथर्मिक एनिमल एक्टोथर्मिक एनिमल एंड एंडोथर्मिक एनिमल एलोंग विथ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल आल्सो राइट सो एनिमल्स आर क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर बॉडी टेंपरेचर इनटू टू टाइप्स अकॉर्डिंग टू नेचर ऑफ बॉडी टेंपरेचर animals are classified into two types the first one is homeothermic animal homeothermic animal it is also called as warm blooded animal warm blooded animal right so Uh, the animals like birds and mammals comes under homeothermic animal example of it is birds another one is mammals right birds and mammals so the second one is poikilothermic animal poikilo thermic animal it is also called as cold blooded animal cold blooded animal the poikilothermic animal or cold blooded animal here the examples are what is that frogs right fishes and reptiles also right so according to nature of body temperature animals are classified into two types that is homeothermic animal and poikilothermic animal whereas homeothermic animal also called as warm blooded animal the homeothermic animals here are birds and mammals and the poikilothermic animals also called as cold blooded animal here the examples are frogs fishes and reptiles the animals again classified into two types according to their internal heat generating system according to the mechanism that determines the body temperature based on that animals are classified into two types according to internal heat generating system animals are classified into two types the first one is endothermic animal endothermic animal the second one is ectothermic animal endothermic animals also called as endotherms ectothermic animals also called as ectotherms right the examples of endothermic animal is birds right we can call it as mammals also comes under endothermic animals birds and mammals whereas the ectothermic animals are all comes under cold blooded animal right here cold blooded animals comes under ectothermic and ectothermic animals because the cold blooded animal which on the basis of their nature of body temperature they have internal heat generating system so the ectothermic animals or ectotherms uh, here all cold blooded animals comes under ectothermic animals right and it does not mean that 
पोइक्लोथर्मिक एनिमल इज अलवेज एक्टोथर्मिक एनिमल और होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल इज नॉट अलवेज एंडोथर्मिक एनिमल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर एनिमल्स मे बी होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल मे बी पोइक्लोथर्मिक एनिमल एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर इंटरनल हीट जेनेरेटिंग सिस्टम और मेकानिजम दैट डिटरमाइंस द बॉडी टेम्परेचर एनिमल्स आर एंडोथर्मिक एनिमल और एक्टोथर्मिक एनिमल राइट सो द फर्स्ट वन इज होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल राइट इन केस ऑफ होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल हियर एग्जाम्पल इज बर्ड्स राइट एंड अदर वन इज मामल्स स्पेशली ह्यूमन राइट सो हियर इन केस ऑफ होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल्स और वन ब्लडेड एनिमल्स दे मेंटेन देयर कॉन्स्टेंट बॉडी टेम्परेचर इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द एनवायरमेंटल टेम्परेचर राइट दे मेंटेन देयर ओन टेम्परेचर दे मेंटेन देयर ओन बॉडी टेम्परेचर इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ environmental temperature right so in case of homeothermic animal their metabolic rate is always high their metabolic rate is always high if their metabolic rate is high then their thermal conductance is always low thermal कंडक्टेंस इज ऑलवेज लो सो इन केस ऑफ होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय होमियोथर्मिक एनिमल द एनिमल्स व्हिच मेंटेन देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर देम सेल्फ्स इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल टेम्परेचर राइट देयर मेटाबॉलिक रेट इज सो हाई अलोंग विथ थर्मल कंडक्टेंस इज वेरी वेरी लेस राइट Now we are going to discuss about poikilothermic animals. Poikilothermic animals or cold-blooded animals, cold-blooded Here the examples of poikilothermic animals I told you before that that is frog, fishes, reptiles, right? Frog, fish, reptiles so what do you mean by poikilothermic animal here the animals they not able to maintain their body temperature at constant level right the animal that not not able to maintain maintain their body temperature at a constant level so what do you mean by poikilothermic animal those animal or those animals which not able to maintain their body temperature at a constant level that is called as poikilothermic animal or poikilothermic animals or cold blooded animals right if the environmental temperature increases then their body temperature of that organism also increases if the environmental temperature decreases then their body temperature of that organism also decreases so they are not able to maintain their body temperature at constant level right and they also having metabolic rate their metabolic rate metabolic rate is so so less here in case of poikilothermic animal their metabolic rate is less and their thermal conductance is 
is so high. So in case of poikilothermic thermic animal, metabolic rate is so less and thermal conductance is so high. Not as like the homeothermic animal, right? Now we are move forward to temporal heterotherms. Temporal heterotherms are those organism or those species that sometimes they regulate their body temperature by its own and sometimes they don't right they sometimes they regulate their own body temperature and sometimes they don't right sometimes they show the sometimes they show peculiarity with homeothermic animal and sometimes they are like poikilothermic animal so they are called as temporal heterotherms right temporal heterotherms means species species that sometimes sometimes regulate their body temperature body temperature and sometimes don't so they are called as temporal heterotherms right now we are going to discuss about endotherms right on the basis of according to internal heat generating system animals are classified into endotherms and ectotherms endothermic animals and ectothermic animals right then what is endotherms or endothermic animals endothermic animals are those organisms or those animals which regulate their body temperature by the production of heat within their own bodies means they produce the temperature by their own metabolic rate right so what is endotherms endotherms regulate regulate sorry one minute endotherms regulate they are body temperature by the production of of heat within their own bodies endotherm means they regulate their body temperature by the production of heat within their own bodies right in case of human human generate metabolic heat right internal heat right so human human generate metabolic heat that is nearly 37 degree celsius right so we can we comes under endothermic animals right birds and mammals because we have our own internal heat generating system so we comes under endotherms or endothermic animals right now we are move forward to ectotherms or ectothermic animals in case of ectotherms they relay on external source right they don't have internal heat generating system so they relay on external source of heat right why like in case of amphibians they don't produce metabolic heat their body temperature influenced by outer environment right so that is the example of ectotherms right here they relay on external 
सोर्स ऑफ हीट दे रिले ऑन एक्सटर्नल सोर्स ऑफ हीट और दे डिपेंड्स ऑन एक्सटर्नल सोर्स ऑफ हीट इनके सब एम्फीबियंस दे डोंट प्रोड्यूस मेटाबोलिक हीट मेटाबोलिक हीट दैट इज एबसेंट राइट इनके सब एम्फीबियंस सो दे आर बॉडी टेम्परेचर दे आर बॉडी टेम्परेचर इन्फ्लुएंस इन्फ्लुएंस बाय आउटर एनवायरमेंट टूडे फॉर दैट सिट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल थैंक यू सो मच